I've been telling him every night, get out. Sorry. You don't want him to like, get too big. I got too big and I did not want to come out. Wait, what? I believe I was past my due date. So like I got too big past the point of like coming out comfortably. So it was really painful for my mom. And she said it was painful for me too, but I was baby, I don't remember. <laughs> Here, you gotta put the phone down and say it. No. I don't like talking to her. Look, you're hurting her feelings. Now she's crying. I want her to cry. <laughs> oh my God, trust that thing up. <laughs> put it in the chair. We gotta set up tackle. Bruh. just men in general like they get to clock out and their day is over they're clocked out they come home they take a shower they eat they lay down they do whatever they want to do my job is literally 24 hours a day through the entire night from the second i open my eyes it never ends you and me talk about what is annoying me always hearing that i'm in a bad mood are you in a bad mood you seem like you're in a bad mood some personality. Whatever you don't want, I'll just take back home with me. Thick pads that you're gonna need and... She doesn't need this Oh, yes, she does. Because when you're pushing out a baby, Jason, it, like... This little tiny hole is gonna be, like, this big. I think you'll overreact a little no, bit. No, 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 I'm not. I've, I've been through this. I've had one. a kid. Have you had a, a kid? Bit. Have you? No. No. I've had a kid. I know how this works. Let's just take a moment of silence before I start this video and pray to the good Lord that I don't lose my shit while I make this. So I just got done watching the latest episode of TLC Unexpected. I need to remind myself before I start to talk in monotone form so this video does not get taken down for bullying and harassment. This is Jason. This is Kylan. I'm at the part in the episode where Kylan is giving birth. And Jason, from the very beginning, as soon as she goes into labor, it, it's just an issue for him. It's really inconveniencing him. He doesn't even want to go to the birthing center, right? They're supposed to have this all-natural birth. It's Jason's birth plan. They get to the birthing center, and things start quickly going downhill. She's been in labor for a really long time, and they say, hey, you know, you need some a bag of water, some an IV. Jason says, no, you're not giving her drugs. And the nurses are kind of like taken back and like, no, no, no drugs. No, it, it's just water, sugar water, just sugar water. So Jason refuses to let her get an IV. Her heart rate is escalating. A lot of things are going wrong. So they say, you know what? This is out of our control. You guys have to go to the hospital. As soon as they get to the hospital, the nurse says, okay, I really recommend you get an epidural. You've been in labor for 25 hours. And Jason says, absolutely not. You are not giving her methamphetamine and fentanyl. And the nurse was like, dumb fat, no, no crack, no, no meth, just an epidural. Nope, she's gonna become an addict. People get those epidurals one time and become addicted to fentanyl. Literally his words, not my words, his words. So they're arguing back and forth and she says, you know what, like I'm exhausted. I've been in labor for 25 hours. Why can't you see this? And he replies, I've been up for just as long as you've been awake. At one point, he literally looks at her and says, you're not getting it. And she says, you know what? I'm done. I don't care what you think anymore. I'm getting it. Remind you, she's 16. At one point, she's having a contraction and she's like, can you please come here? And he's like, are you going to get that epidural? And she said, yes. And he's like, then no. Anyways, they come in to give her the epidural and he stands up and says, mm, I don't consent to this. And they say, okay, well, good thing that we don't need your consent. Then he literally called her a wussy, but you know what I mean. For the second time, repeats himself that she got a methamphetamine epidural. Okay, if you're not going to be, you know, here for her and her support system, you're going to have to leave. He literally looks at her and says, look at what you've caused. 
I mean this poor girl. One, she's 16. For two, she's in what looks to be an alleged, not confirmed, abusive relationship. Like my heart truly just aches for this poor girl. I'm hoping she ends up leaving him. Like I'm just praying. We'll see you next week. Once I get home, everything's a mess and be. If everything's like, a mess, you clean it up then. I don't what see the are you doing anything. all day home? Buy your Taking like, care like, of like, kids, like, wiping ass, breastfeeding, okay, giving baths, okay, showers, whatever, taking like, kids outside to play, feeding kids, cooking three meals a day. What you do is not hard. F you, f you, and f you. Literally wake up at six every day and I'm out of bed doing stuff. Jason, you're not up when I get ready for work. Not when I don't have to be. Bruh. If I don't have to freaking wake up, you know damn well I'm going to sleep. Haters are about to start hating. Me and Matthew, we are eight weeks pregnant. So Bruh. Oh my God. <laughs> Go My childhood was very chaotic. It was not normal. It's not fair. We were young, very young. It's not an excuse, but it's a fact. Sorry, I didn't get along with your dad and he wasn't always there and I regret it. And I'm sure he does too, because we see the outcome. Okay, and I'm allowed to say that we were young, chaotic. just like you are. I wasn't on any birth control. I've never been on birth control. I know a lot of parents like to provide their children with birth control, but I think by providing children with birth control, you're saying it's okay to have sex. Don't have sex. I know you're going to have sex, so here. Um, so I didn't provide her with anything. You are not about to take your PlayStation. Do you don't much... even know if they're going to let you play. Why would they not? Where are you going to put it? You're not putting that. Where the TV is. No, I'm saying in what bag. My bag. There's gonna be room for that. I'm just wondering what he's gonna do with that because that's the last thing he's probably gonna be thinking about at the hospital. I just figured that we'll just bring it just in case, just in case there's a little bit of free time. Cause you're gonna be drugged up anyway, so you'll probably be asleep the whole time. And plus, that doesn't mean you just get to sit there and play a game. Well, plus whenever, whenever babies are born, they, they sleep most of the time anyways, so I just didn't want to be bored, especially with us being, like, locked in the room. Who are you using as a pediatrician? For myself? No. Um. <laughs> no, for the baby. Big Alex was freezing cold at the birthday party, so he had his jacket on top of his head the whole time. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. We're going to put it in the hand. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I don't give a what he's doing. He's a grown ass man. If he wants to go sit on a table, oh well, I didn't need the table. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just don't care. I don't care enough about him to talk about him. Have epidurals here. Yeah. Were you planning to have a medication free birth? No. Oh, yes, we were planning for <laughs> medication free birth. No. Medication free. Right. No medication. No epidural. Oh. I'm not willing to admit that I was wrong, so I'm going to pretend that I love it and that this was the plan. That he did you dirty So what's the harm in flirting, baby? Cause your boyfriend's a bitch You need to see this a stupid Look at her Well, yeah I just woke up and I was like I want to sleep a little longer And she was like, nope, the baby's coming I was like, nope, he's not Bruh I do a lot of things with breast milk. I give him milk baths. Yay! 
milk. He eats breast milk, he drinks breast milk, he does everything with breast milk. Breast milk popsicles, making breast milk pancakes. Mm. Oh yeah, I've eaten breast milk pancakes. If you're a breastfeeding mom, you're totally lying if you say you haven't had like a little lick of your milk. It's very good for you. Me and Alex are just trying to like co-parent the best that we can by still sleeping in the same bed with each other every night and Alex trying to get some. <laughs> trying. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All I do now is just sit at home in a room with Layla and take care of her and wash her clothes and fold her clothes and put them up and wash the dishes sometimes and sweep them off the floor. I'm basically her maid. I love being a mom, but two years ago when I met Aiden, I didn't figure this was gonna be my life. I mean, I don't think anybody at 16 sees a boy and think in two years, I'm gonna be breastfeeding his kid to sleep. Like, who thinks that? Nobody thinks that. Um, I don't think I would have a boyfriend if I didn't have a baby. You know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know. And he's just sucking the joy out of everything. He's like a fun sucker and he just sucks. I have this little thing where I don't like condoms and I don't use them. Well, you put it on and then tuck it off. Because I'm a professional raw dogger. <laughs> <laughs> Look what happened. <laughs>